adding color to my fall landscape. Um, I'm using watercolor. I'm going to talk about other options as well. Um, but if you're using watercolor, um, hold your brush close to where the metal meets the wood. And then when you're getting um, water on your brush, make sure you're not jabbing the bottom of the cup. The whole goal, don't make sure, I'm sorry, make sure your bristles aren't spreading as you're using your brush. You want to keep them together as much as you can. So you get a little bit of water and you wipe it on the side. Don't tap it because it flings water everywhere. All right, so with a little bit of water, um, I'm going to start with my sky. Go with this blue color. Either of the blues will be fine. You don't want to have too much because watercolors are meant to look really light. All right, so I've got my sky painted. Again, I'm using watercolor, um, but you can use a lot of things you have around your house. Um, I'm attaching another video that shows you um, different things you can use to color with, to paint with. Um, so you might have things around your house or your pantry um, and your fridge that you could use to paint your picture. Um, if you absolutely do not have anything that you could possibly use, um, you could always just use marker. Well, probably not marker. Um, you could use colored pencil as well. That'd be fine too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this picture. All right, so there's a quick completed uh version of mine. Um, again, check out that video where you can make your own paint um, and try to make some of your own. If you can't get all the right colors, that's okay. Um, but just something for you to try.